Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where I've actually recorded quite a ways ahead of where I'm actually uploading it right now. I just realized, but you know, it's good. <laughs> um, I have decided that we're gonna go find an old friend. Way, oh my gosh, she's way out there. Cool beans. <sighs> So I'm still feeling like I'm trying to get a handle on things. Can I? Fast travel free. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, because unfortunately I am still playing only kind of on the weekends. I'm having a harder time finding time during the week. Mostly it's an energy thing, you know, I don't want to like be super boring <laughs> and tired when I'm doing this and <laughs> I am still a bit nervous with the, I think I don't have a neighbor right now, but who knows, who knows. So like, you know, making too much noise, I don't want to do that, so. Every time it's a little bit anxiety making for me, which can sometimes make me not want to play, which is like not what I want, you know? So I'm trying to be better, but I do remember specifically that my heart was broken and now I have to pin all my hopes on Avad. So <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, I was trying to figure out how to get there from here. Oh, did I not? Oh, it didn't, did it not save when I went up there? I thought, okay. I think we got up there. Oh, that was early. Sorry. I am remembering. Must be closing in on the signal. I am re-remembering everything. Oh, goodness. Let me get a soda, maybe. It's so weird. To play this. Look at those little leapfroggers. There's so many. There's an infestation of kangaroos mechanical kangaroos that looks like a cat so if you ever see a fox in the in the wild which i have only done mm, well a couple times um ooh, nice it's really really weird because like you see like, at least at first for me initially i was like that's cat and then i was like no that's a dog and then my brain, like, tried to, like, bring the two together into... It was like, no, it's a cat dog. And, like, it's this really weird thing where your brain is, like, simultaneously seeing two different types of animals. At least for me. That's how it was for me. Oh, hi. Oh, are you guys the salvagers? Oh, my gosh, they're the salvagers. Good day for some foraging, what did you say? That, from the salvage contract I got. Dude, freaking the Utaru are like elves. Look at this. This is like this is the kind of the kind of thing you'd see in like an elven encampment, like a really woodsy one. A cauldron. Ooh, really? Oh, I dang. I don't think we've actually we seen a cauldron. Ride some new machines. I don't think we 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 have encountered a cauldron yet. A tooth. Why are there so many? <laughs> Why are there so many kinds of stuff you can pick up from animals? Skin, tooth, bone. I mean, in the first game, it was like you could have the skin, maybe the bone, and then like meat. That was it. Okay. Hmm. Do I want? I don't want to do that. I'm not a big fan of the cauldrons. Um, I'm also not a big fan of the melee pits, and I'm not a big fan of the hunting excursions, like the hunting things. But that's in the previous game. I didn't, I didn't enjoy doing the cauldrons or the, like the hunting grounds things. It's just not my thing. I wanted to be out running around. I didn't want to be stuck in one spot. It's on to me. Uh, well, listen, hang on. It was worth it. I got something purple from these guys. Oh my gosh, I don't even remember how to fight anything. Leave me alone. I don't even... What do I have equipped? These are cool. I want to use those more. And I have the ability... Oh. 
Thank you. I am going to keep those tips up because they are very helpful. Especially when I just keep coming back and forth. No, no, no. Skills. I have four skills. Holy cow, I get skill points so fast. Um, What was the one with the explosive? I don't have a bolt blaster yet. Fire a high arcing volley. That is cool, but it's not stealthy. Oh, 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 oh. That's also, that's good. Anyway, no, I am looking. Form. The explosion thing. Oh, I forgot about this. Heck yes. Now we can attach to any part of the enemy. Good. Uh, the rope caster is really useful when you can use it. <laughs> Place traps faster, I gotta save up for that. Heck yeah. It is a little upsetting to me that things we just had in the last game that we have to unlock now. Like, oh, set your traps faster. Well, at least I think in the first game it was like one upgrade, you know? Like, I don't, yeah, there were, I think there was one to let you set your traps faster. Um, I just can't compare the beginning of this game to, like, the end game of the first game. That's not fair, you know? And I think I keep doing that, because I'm used to having that, all the stuff. And, um, I don't... Oh, do I not have that? Arms after a short delay. That explodes on... Im oh, use up to three. Okay, so the one I have, it detonates after, like, it does impact, does impact damage, but then it explodes after a second. This would let me throw it on the ground, and it will arm after a short delay and then explode. And then this will let it explode on impact or proximity to a target. So if I threw it on the ground and I open ground, it would probably be fine. Like, you could use these two abilities in tandem, you know? But why are they in the machine thing? The spike trap thing's in the machine, like, skill tree. So now I gotta get... Now I gotta get this, even though I don't care. <laughs> I guess I should use them more, though. It wouldn't hurt to override a machine and have it help for me. Have it help me. Uh, blah blah blah. Ooh, I forgot. You know what? Let's just. Okay, no highs. But using that does make it so that things. Jeez, so many. Hmm. It does make it so that weapons or useful things that don't they break. So that is something to keep in mind. But I like it regardless. Can I? Do I have you? Do I? Oh, a lot. La no. Those are the exploding Is chickens. Get us? Talon. Oh my gosh. You see that, Milo? You have to wait for an opening. She looks so different. <laughs> Care to join the hunt? Her face looks different. Holy cow. Oh, weird. Oh, it didn't work. Uh. How much damage? Oh, that does not do much damage at all. Okay, what is it? What does it want? Weak versus shock. Not you. Oh, no. What is it? No. Right there, like that. Okay. I was like, you. Ha! 
Why can't I do the... Okay, there we go. Ooh. Oh, I ran into it myself. Cool, cool beans. Calling it quits yet, are you? No, I am trying to maintain the high ground. Oh no. Oh, oh my. Than that, Listen, stop. What, what the heck? Oh. Time to die. Listen, I don't. I don't need any. Oh my gosh, I accidentally picked the wrong one. Likewise. <laughs> Over here. That was so terrible. Nope, hang on. First, I'm picking stuff up. Anyway, that was terrible. It was a terrible fight. I'm so bad at fighting in this game. Machines are so mean to me. To be fair, it really seems like these machines are... These machines really want me to play melee. And I don't want to play melee. I want to play with all my cool ranged abilities. Also, if she really took an Utaru woman... Prepared. <laughs> uh... Who they don't generally want to fight, but this woman apparently wants to fight? I don't know. We'll see. Oh. Oh. Talana, what are you doing all the way out here? Sunhawk Talana came Tell why can't Aloy despite the Nora. Yes! <laughs> You're the slayer of Redma, the savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined the Hunter's Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. Wow. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Stay and rest. Make sure you take some medicinal plants for that wound. So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. I'm looking for someone. A Karja hunter, about my age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back, and now he's missing. Her face is so different. It's it's rounder, like, and her eyes are different. Her nose, her mouth, like, it's still there, but she, of all people, looks quite different. This man you're looking for, is he another hunter from the lodge? <sighs> He'd hate to hear you say that. It's a long story, but he's a former noble. We met out in the wilds after I was Oh. Him. He healed me. Mm. Then helped put a stop to machines that were threatening a nearby village. After that, we, uh, parted ways. Sounds like there's more of the story. Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> Aloy's like, hmm. <laughs> How come everybody but me gets to fall in love with people? Oh, this is so unfair. <laughs> oh, I'm really sad. Uh, so, you lose your new thrush. Guess that means a hawk can sponsor more than one now? Things have changed at the Hunter's Lodge. Now all who seek to become the best hunters are welcomed as members, no matter their tribe. Don't worry. You're still my favorite thrush. Yeah, I better be. You're really shaking things up. As I promised when I became Sunhawk. And as for Milu, she believes learning to hunt will help her ailing tribe. Who am I to say no to that? I really don't think she's cut out for it, but it's, you know, as long as she's got someone there to help her. The last time we met, you had left Meridian on a contract to hunt a deadly new machine. Several Clost Riders, it turned out. A hunter-killer, too. You said you were feeling restless. Is life as Sunhawk that boring? Well, I had just left the city. I couldn't stand being cooped up with bureaucratic regulations and formalities. But my time out in the wilds helped me realize the lodge needs to be more than a glorified trophy hall. Our hunters should be the spears that safeguard our civilians, like my father and brother were. Sounds like a big challenge. I don't remember others in the lodge being so open-minded. Some are. The rest will get a boot out the door. Mm. And I'll get back to it as soon as I find Amadis. Oh, yes. I can help you find your It's- friend. I'll help everyone find love. I know love. you must have your own reasons for being out this way. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle to finally lay them to rest. 
Milu and I were on our way there now. The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think on today's lesson. But... You're no good distracted by pain. Go. All hunters need to recover from time to time. Yes, Sunhawk. Yeah, this is for the old hands. It's been an honor. Her outfit's amazing. The Utari outfits are really cool. Be okay on her own? Of course. She's my thrush. Come. The battlefield's this way. But she's also an Utaru who seemed to be pacifist for the most part. Oh my gosh, just took off. What's this? Wait, wait. Oh. No. Oh, hey, what's this? Shock trip wires. Oh, how nice. So this battlefield... You said it was part of the Red Raids? The Battle of Burning Blooms. Amadis was part of the Karja army that pushed into the west. His division attacked the Tanakh, but they underestimated the enemy's forces. It was a massacre. I never thought you'd be friends with someone in particular. Between you and me, this will be quick. Oh, don't worry. He was one of the good ones. He tried to stop the attack, but it was too late. He's been on the run ever since. I was going to say, it's convenient how many of those appear to pop up. But to be fair, there's, there's got to be many. And you think something went wrong for him out here? Oh, they haven't found me yet. Don't worry. I'll track him down. They're having two different conversations. He promised he would get a message back. This is the field. Where the Tanakh slaughtered the Karja. She, like, stopped Just and like crouched. Time, neither have eroded most signs of battle. But there are a lot of footprints. Must be recent. Let's take a you look. You have a fire on your back. Heavy footprints. Maybe Osirum. It's too many to tell if Amadis is with them. I better look around. My focus might show me more. Amadis was supposed to be alone. Why were Osirum here? Don't mind me, just taking your stuff, Amadeus. I know that's not his name, for the record, but that's what I'm gonna call him. Amadeus, Amadeus. Oh my goodness. Well, what else do you want me to say? Oh, I mean, oh, I forget. We need, to, we need to examine it via the focus and then click on it. A Karja weapon. The blade's rusted. Must have been from the battle years ago. This place is so beautiful. This game is so beautiful. Cooking fire. Looks recent. Whoever was here camped out for at least a night. Oh, are those beaver tail cacti? What? I don't know, they might be. I have a hard time sometimes. Telling the difference between cacti species. But these, no, these aren't the ones I'm thinking of either, but they might be beaver tail cacti, but there's some that create these beautiful, like, round, um, like, they look like that, where they're, like, the thin, you know, like, um, I guess teardrop kind of shaped, you know, succulent, and then, uh, they have flowers that bloom on top of them, and there are some really beautiful ones that will kind of form like perfect circles, like little mounds. Like, not circles, I guess, they'll form little mounds. And, um, but they're only like one, you know, one, one of these little leaves, essentially tall. And they form these little mounds, and they have, every single one of them will have those blooms on top of them. And they're really beautiful. If you go to Antelope Island in Utah, um, you can find a buff bison. Uh, there's a huge bison, um, herd up there. Also, though, fields and fields of these, of not these cacti, but the ones I'm talking about that are really beautiful. You're right. A lot of footprints here. What a mess. Found any sign of a modest? What do you want me to, I, I'm do you want me to keep looking? Is that what you want from me? Oh. A dust devil. I just got rolled over by a dust devil. Uh, yesterday, actually. Almost took me no. out. Light prints. Not Osirum. Maybe Karja. Because it picked up one of the tents. Like there's a trail I can follow with my focus. It picked up one of the tents where it was, like, canopies we were using for shade, and I tried to get in the way to stop it, which was dumb. 
Sacred ingredient for someone, I'll bet. Talana, I think I got something. Tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. This is this is something. This keeps going back and forth here. I don't get it. Why would Amadis keep going west? Maybe there's something else around here? Looks pretty abandoned to me. Man, seeing all those machines like just just chilling like that is just wild. I like, I know they're dead, but still. An Utaru. Oh, What's he doing oh hello, I didn't even see you. Maybe he saw Amadis. Let's ask him. Hi. Let me guess. Here. Your stragglers got left behind when the wagons rolled out. What? Do not worry. I am not the Karja hitting kind. Just an old scavenger grateful for a little company. Name's Lel. You two must be lost. Actually, we're looking for someone. A Karja. The hunter. Utaru are also he thin. Traveling alone, clothes would have been well worn. Yes, he was here, poking around the old battlefield. Wanted to know what happened. Lucky for him. Old Lel hears all the stories. Karja army charged straight into the waiting Tanakh. Most burned. But others, the Tanakh marched back west. Your man wanted to know where. Told him I've heard rumors of a place called the Rot. What is it? A Tanakh prison. Or a Karja graveyard, depending on how you look at it. Where is this place? Further west, in Tanakh territory, but that did not stop him. An Asaram caravan was camping out at the battlefield, about to head the same way. He joined them. They all went west, towards the ridge. Thanks, Lel. We have to get going. Good hunting out there. Let's head west to the ridge, then. If we find this caravan, maybe we'll find Amadis. Lead oh, on. Oh, ho. Oh ho ho ho! Advance a recipe of we have rec that's a trap. We have recipes. What is that? Medium uh, advanced acid trap. Do I have regular acid trap? I do. And the vertical shock trap too. That's right. Dang, you can just pick up recipes too. I didn't realize you could pick up recipes. This is an overpass. You mentioned Amadis lost someone close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakh took them prisoner instead? To the rot? I don't know. Maybe. Is that a dam? Look at that. It's so weird. It is so... Mm? Element and drum with a standard arrow causes it to leak. A matching elemental arrow will cause it to explode. Okay. Wait, which one? These are my regular arrows. Or it just or it'll just explode. <laughs> the ridge up ahead. It looks like there's a tunnel. A shell snapper. Ooh, what? Hasn't seen us yet. What? 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 Just like old. Oh my gosh! A usable weapon. Heck yes. How do I attack removal? Persist when killed. Heck yes. We spot it new. It's just the regular. It's weak to acid and fire. Oh my goodness. Acid and fire. Acid and fire. Okay, hang on. All right. Here's a chance. Chain reaction on what, are, what those on the left? What's explosive? I can't tell. It's underside. Anyway, energy shell shield. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Processing capsule. Frost Blaster. Legit. Okay. 
we want to use acid. Ooh, I may have to get over on that one. Or sneak up around there, maybe? It looks sick. It looks like a snapping turtle. Oh, oh, there's explosive barrels right there, too. Oh, I don't know if it'll turn around. I don't I'm gonna I'm gonna hope no. I'm gonna hope it doesn't. I am not trying to craft it, I just wanted to place it. Okay. And then I have regular ones. I'm getting greedy. Oh, I'm getting greedy. Don't oh, know, there's no need. There's really no need. Oh, there's no need. <laughs> Those are blaze ones, I think. Oh, here, let's check. Yeah, blaze drum. Oh my gosh, she scared me. Oh, and we can hit the we can hit the rocks too. Oh 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 oh. Excellent. What is it doing? It's just plowing through. Yeah. Um, I will wait. It would be nice to get the acid going, but now I know I need to do two traps. Oh, shoot, no, there is, it only hit one of them. I thought they were going to be close enough to hit, and it just plowed through the barrels on its own. I didn't do any of them. It might hit the second one. Here in a second. Excellent. I'm gonna wait till it gets close enough to that to hit it with the rocks. Oh, and we have a pillar. Okay, excellent. Oh, two of them. All right, I see. I'm sorry, I realize this isn't the most exciting. But I enjoy it. That was a significant amount of damage. If I can get the those up there to hit it too, then we'll be done so. We could risk it. What was the one chain reaction? What is it doing? I was trying to detach things. What? Oh, now it now it sees us. So okay. Holy cow! Look at that. Oh jeez. Oh, 
How long does it take to detach these things? Oh, that's its shield. That's the blue. Okay, I see. Oh, no. I, don't, I, I actually don't know what just happened there. I don't know what hit me. Did it hit me with a gun? Or did I... What? Dang it. I'm probably going to have to redo all of that. Dang it, dang it. <laughs> Where is it? I'll have to watch that in the replay and see what happened. Oh my gosh, it does. It just fires. Oh my gosh, that. It just. It has like missile launchers on it. That's incredible. Those. I mean, you can't even hear them go off. It just. Just come. And it's not even looking at you. It just fires out the side. So this time I am going to wait, but I placed two advanced acid traps down. That's how much damage it did. And I'm going to wait, and I'm going to trigger that, and then we'll be good to go. Perfect! Easy peasy. <laughs> I gotta say, feels good to hunt by your side again. Come on, let's head into the tunnel. How could you guys not want to pick these up? Uh, coil agility damage. What does that mean? Yeah, I because I can't use them. I don't know why I did that. I can't use these stupid coils until I freaking upgrade my weapons, and I'm not going to upgrade weapons until I get the blue ones. I'm just not. Anyway, I should probably call this one here. I have no idea how long it'll be, but it should be fine. But thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially my sap sapling tier patron, Reese Glito. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special thank you to Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you can't hear the kids yelling in the pool, because I sure can. And have a good one. <laughs>